Hello, I'm Mark, a team member with Rooted. Every organization needs to manage data and devices in an efficient way. This data could be in the form of user accounts, access, files, security policies, or just simply network access. Managing hundreds or even dozens of users is not an easy task, especially when access policies are needed and data protection is of the most importance. So today, we ask the question, what is Windows Server? From Microsoft's perspective, Windows Server is a group of operating systems designed by Microsoft that supports enterprise-level management, data storage, applications, and communications. The history of Windows Server goes back to the 1990s, when Microsoft released Windows NT 3.1 Advanced Server Edition. However, it wasn't until the end of 1999 when Microsoft released Windows 2000 Server Edition. That included most important server-related features like Active Directory, group policies, DNS, and DHCP servers. The main releases of Windows Server are Windows Server 2003, Windows Server 2003 R2, Windows Server 2008, Windows Server 2008 R2, Windows Server 2012, Windows Server 2012 R2, Windows Server 2016, Windows Server 2019, and Windows Server 2022. All releases are typically supported for about 10 years. Windows Server supports a variety of features that meets most organizations' demands. Here's some of the core features in addition to DNS and DHCP that are included in the latest public release. Windows Admin Center. Centralized location to monitor services running on your server. Active Directory. To manage users and groups including access to company services. Hyper-V. This is the virtualization software from Microsoft that allows administrators to manage and run Windows or Linux-based virtual machines. Direct Access allows users to connect to the organization's network without the traditional virtual private network connections. Print and Document Services to manage print queues in one central location. File and Storage Services. This includes a file server, data duplication, resource manager, and more. Web Server that allows administrators to host websites and other HTTP-related services, and hybrid capabilities that allows you to connect to Azure and extend cloud-based capabilities to on-premise. Windows Server requires a PC capable enough to handle constant network activity, data usage, and processing power. This is why server-grade hardware is always required for Windows Server, as it needs to run 24-7. Minimum requirements include 1.4 GHz 64-bit processor, 2 GB RAM with error-correcting code capabilities, 32 GB storage, and 1 gigabit Ethernet adapter. These are the absolute minimum and not the recommended. Microsoft Windows Server has been a favorite solution by organizations for many years. It allows for the centralized management of users, files, and security. With so many services and features, it can be overwhelming to decide or configure the best settings for your organization. At Rooted, we can help you navigate available options and help you implement Windows Server or improve, upgrade, and manage your current installation. We are ready to help today. To start, submit a ticket at support.rootedconsulting.org, schedule an appointment with our team, and let's get connected for streamlined and smooth support.